Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. This is Lamia Taslim before you and I'm a trainee of Tizo, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to talk about how to teach a language. Well, basically there are four basic parts of a language and these are reading, writing, listening and speaking. Each of these have two approach and they are intensive approach and extensive approach. Intensive approach you have to deliver with some focused subjects it has some certain boundaries while on the other hand extensive approach has no boundaries now let's talk about the learning process or the teaching process of a language well you can see here the teaching process will be activity based game based question and answer based students presentation based and most importantly fun based a teacher has go through all these components while teaching you have to instruct your students show them example related to the task and monitor all around the class and don't forget to assist those students who are trying to help themselves but really cannot cope up with the other competitors now you can see you have to be a guide to your students a guide paves the way of learning easier to the students on the other hand you have to be a coach to your students a coach observes the students' performances and tries to push their boundaries and comfort zone from them. You have to be a partner also because a partner can... You know a partner is uh, very free to the other partner or their friends and students can express their problems freely if you try to be their partner you have to be a friend also but remember my friends don't cross your limits don't be too much friendly to your students if you do so you will lose control over the class and the class will be too much chaotic and you know how horrible will, would that be oh my god <laughs> now you can see here you have to respect your students also because what you deliver to your students it will come back to you in the same way that means if you respect your students they will respect you too what do we have here Tell your failure and success stories. You know my friends, if you do so, it will help to sow the seed of bigger dreams within your students and that would be very much helpful to courage, encourage your students. Now let's talk about the don'ts. Never ever criticize your students because if you do so, it will demotivate them. Never be boastful and never be like Mr. Know-it-all. If you think you know everything, then I guess you have lose the thirst or you have quenched the thirst of your gaining knowledge. And you know, it's a contradiction to the qualities of a teacher. A teacher should always be a learner through his lifetime. Now my friends, remember, don't forget to praise and thank the, merci the merciful because of him you got the chance to be a teacher. Never forget to thank your mentor because he made, made you 
able to talk in front to teach a whole class okay and most importantly never ever forget to thank your students because of their existence you are the teacher today that's what that's all for today thank you hope to hoping to meet you very soon at Tizol. Thank you.